Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Astroneer with your friend Curls Paladin. And we're going to put our current series on hold, or our current tasks, I should say, on hold, because today, as of this recording, but it'll be tomorrow when the video goes up, automation is live. And I've been playing around for about 45 minutes in a creative mode save just to figure out how things work, so I'm not wasting time here trying to figure it out. Uh, so I have a basic idea of how some of the automation stuff works. I haven't done all of it yet, but just some of it. Uh, specifically the auto extractors, which are absolutely amazing, and the auto arm, which is a little bit limited in my opinion, but well, it's still very handy. And of course, resource storage is really cool too. These things do suck a lot of power though, these extractors. So uh, it's not an early game thing, unless you just want to set it up with a small amount of power and it just does its thing. But they do suck a lot of power. Um, like 8U, which is two RTGs, to function at 100%. At least that's what it looked like to me using these little indicators here on the platform. Um, when I only had one RTG, I had red, which means it was uh, not enough power. When I put a second RTG, it was all the same color yellow. Um, and then when I put a third one, it looked like I had a little bit of surplus. But I, it, it looks like 8, er, uh, eight U to run the extractor at full. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have all these things unlocked, but I have more than enough bytes. In fact, we can see right here, 7,500 for the extractor. So I'm gonna go ahead and research that. The other thing that I would like to get for this is the medium canister, or the medium resource canister. This holds 32 resources in a nice little compact thing, and it looks a heck of a lot better than these uh, storage silos. In fact, it, once you can get these things going, and actually plastic and glass is a heck of a lot easier to get than the titanium, these would replace, in my opinion, storage silos. They look a lot better, and uh, they store a lot more. So we're going to go ahead and unlock that as well. Um, then there is the auto arm. That is the thing that will... Uh, move stuff around for you. Only 1,500. That does require graphite, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll go ahead and do that. And then the last thing that I was playing with was, was that, with, is the storage sensor, which is a kind of a cool thing. I only p played with one mode of it, um, but basically it can tell you when something is full, and then toggle the status of something else, such as your extractor. So basically and say, hey, shut down because the storage you're trying to send to is full. So let's just go ahead and unlock that as well. Um, okay. Uh, now, next thing, we need to, of course, build some of these things. So they're not going to be easy, of course, because as you saw, they are very pricey. Um, so let's start with the... Uh, over here, we want to go ahead and see what did it take, even though I was right there. So graphite, which I have two of in my backpack apparently, and one aluminum. I really do hope I have the aluminum. I don't want to run around for 20 minutes looking for all this stuff, but you know what? It looks like I do not have aluminum. No! Oh, wait, 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 look, there's one right there. All right, saved by the smelter. Okay. Uh, we have enough scrap, or we, uh, whatever, when I say we, I think you know what I mean, um, that I might be able to get some of the other stuff I need. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get that going. That'll be really good. Next, what we want is we want um, to get that canister. That requires plastic and glass. Not a big deal. That's compound, uh, compound, quartz, and carbon. There's compound, carbon, which I have so much carbon. How much carbon? And uh, then glass and or quartz. Do I have any glass or quartz floating around here? Okay, that is going to be the one thing that I don't have. Uh, I do have a soil extractor. How does this look? So let's go ahead. Um, are you already full? No, you're not. So let's go ahead and... Uh, what the heck? That'll give us, I think, three quarts? Two quarts. Well, that's better than trying to run around for 20 minutes looking for quarts. Okay, so we have an auto arm. 
We're not going to use it quite yet. Actually, what I'm going to should also do is get rid of this stuff in my backpack that I don't need. So over here, we want plastic. Boom. How much of those, each of those was it? It was um, one plastic, one glass. Okay. Uh, so here, put this on the smelt. Well, we'll just put both of them on the smelter. And then find out that I needed quartz. Uh, let's drop off this organic. I'm really excited. And then what I would need to do is go find a nice deposit of uh, a resource and then set this thing up. So, okay, what was I going to drop? Oh, I have a mutant spiny attactus seed. Um, we can put this up here in our little garden. So we'll put it eh, right there. Okay. And that'll grow over time. Okay. So that gets that out of our backpack. So, okay, excellent. We're down to uh, kind of essentials at this point. Okay, let's go grab... Where'd that plastic go? There we go. Plastic. Let's grab the glassic. Glassic? Yes, the plas and glastic. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead. Where is that at? Um, oh, I'm sorry, it's on this one, duh. And my, uh, I have my co astroneer here is buttoning my hand with her head. So let me see if I can move her. She is such a wonderful kitty, but oh my gosh, she requires attention. Okay, so we have a canister. We have an auto arm. What else do we need? Well, we need the auto extractor. So the auto extractor, that's going to be the, expen the the thing that takes a lot. So that requires rubber, tungsten carbide, and steel. Okay, so rubber is easy. That's resin and organic. And guess what? Oh, I do have... Okay, and how much of each of those was it? Um, there you are, right there. So two steel, one each of the others. Okay, so... We'll grab that organic that I just dropped off. We'll put that back. Or take it back. Let's go ahead. We need one rubber. Then we need tungsten carbide and two steel. Okay. Well, I do have iron. Thank goodness. Uh, I only have four, so I hope I don't need more than this. Let's go ahead. We're going to get some steel going. And I, the reason I take it off of the platform like I just did is I don't like the way that it, uh... Oh, argon. Wait a minute. Iron? Car oh, I need the carbon. Derp. Um, the reason I take it off of the platform when I do that is I don't like the way that it just spits stuff back onto the uh, parent platform. So, it's just part of my OCD. Okay. So, iron, argon... I have iron, I have carbon, argon, okay, that was weird. Yeah, see, I don't, I just, uh, whatever, it's my OCD. It's me, it's it's a me problem, not a they problem, or them problem. Ding! Oh, I'm so excited, I want, this is weird that it just, like, complains about Whatever, okay. I guess I just had to keep doing that. Alright, so let's go ahead. It's going to take a long time. And then tungsten carbide, I need one of those. And I believe that's tungsten and carbon, based just on the name alone. <laughs> I should verify. So tungsten carbide is... Yep, tungsten and carbon, just as I thought. See, I put all this stuff here... And... What if I turn it around like that? Maybe I'll do it the right way. Oh, okay, so I need two tungsten, two carbon. I think I have tungsten. Please tell me I have tungsten. Oh, that's titanium. Tungsten! Tungsten. Thank you, Mrs. Marquis. I will... I know I've said it before. I will always think of her, though. My high school chemistry teacher. And tungsten. Blah. Okay, so let's put this down. Bam. Let's go ahead and get one going. Come over here, just drop off another steel. Uh, 
And the, there it is right there, okay. Whoop. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because it's going to take half an hour to print this darn thing. Ding! Pizza's done. There it is. All right, and then thankfully, I'm, I'm just going to borrow RTGs for this. I've got enough. Like I said, opening gateways is going to go on hold. Um, because who cares? Automation! So. All right, come on. Print, 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 print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Print, print, print. Yes, yes, yes. And the other thing, while they're doing this, they did introduce, you know, they do have to make a little bit of money. And there's nothing wrong with this. Um, you can buy some stuff now. So here you can go and you can get new suits. And I kind of like the commander suit. The swift suit is cute, but I, the commander suit looks really good. You can preview it. So that's pretty cool. Now, I don't know how you gain these yet. I'm pretty certain you can buy qubits. Maybe you can all earn them in-game. I haven't figured this one out yet. But I do like that commander suit. That does look good. Swift suit, eh, it's okay. Kind of makes me think of a, you know, a, 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 a snowboarder, but whatever. Have a whole bunch of uh, emotes. So a ragdoll, our poor little astroneer, looks like he's being... <laughs> Uh, that to me looks more like a puppet, but I am. Selfie, um, yeah, I don't, you know, whatever. Rock, paper, scissors. So if you want to get into a contest with your uh, fellow astroneers, chest bump, bam. Fist bump, oh, boom. Oh, fist pump, I'm sorry. Uh, face palm, palm. Yep, oh. I love the little sounds he makes. I've said it before, this game is just so cute. I love it. And then forward flip. Um, that's kind of a weird one, but oh well. Palettes, so you can have some different colors. Look at that. You can have even different pattern. Oh, that one looks really cool. Uh, you know, retro, Auber aubergine, aubergine, whatever. Beach, shortcake, yeah. You know, avalanche, hazmat, coolant. Hats, so you can have a little crown. Come on, we need a knight's, hel a knight's helmet. Right? Please, Sister Mira, a nice helmet. Alpha Centurion, you know, you can wander around as a certain Looney Tunes uh, character from a different planet. Uh, perfection, so the cat suit, as this used to be sort of called because the little lights made him look like a cat. Now he can actually have cat ears. Um, stunt team, under construction, you know, some fun things here. Masks, um, yeah, whatever. Mouth breather. I don't know if you can, uh, you probably can't combine these. I kind of like that one. That one does look kind of nice. Nice. And the Shadow Science, that one looks kind of neat too. I like that one. <laughs> Perfressor. Yeah. And then visors, of course, you can just change the color and various things. So anyhow, enough of that. Our extractor is complete. It's done printing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this. We're going to move it over here. We're going to put this on top of that. Boom. We're going to move this. Uh, I don't have a platform to attach it to, do I? Nope. Well, I will soon because I'm just going to grab our boot or whatever, our large star, our large silo, because it has all the RTGs. We're going to go out and we're going to find some sort of resource, preferably ammonium, and set this thing up because not only does it automate, it is a little slower. But here's the thing: it almost uh, like 15 times or so the amount of resources that you would normally get. Last thing that I should probably do before I wander off, and I do have the space for it, and do I have the resin? Oh, I hope I have the resin. I'm so excited! Uh, I don't have the resin, darn it. Because the last thing that I should probably get done is setting up a, uh, or is last thing I need, I should say, is a medium platform B. Um, so, unfortunately, we have to go and find some resin. And unfortunately, I don't know where there was any nearby. Um, so this might take a while, unfortunately. Uh, I keep saying that, unfortunately, unfortunately. Sorry. I'm just so excited! Let's grab you. 14 minutes in. I want to get something going in like 20 minutes here. I don't want you guys to have to waste all your time watching me do stupid stuff like that. Oh look, there's a rest right there. <gasps> Yay, I don't have to run off. Alright, so go over to the printer. 
medium printer, give me a medium platform B, please. One medium platform B, or large platform B. It would really help if I had picked up the other resin, wouldn't it? I'm not thinking straight. Why? Because automation! It's going to take a long time to find ammonium, I'll bet, too. Right, get that going. Da -da 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 -da. Boom, okay. Print, 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 print. What are my other... Oh, okay. Oh, chicken dance! Ba -da 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 I know I was off. But, you know. And if you did clap, 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 you know, after I did that, you, you're, <laughs> you've been to too many weddings, okay? Let's move this out of the way. There we go. All right. The reason I want this is this is what my, my canister RTGs and little auto arm are going to go on to. It actually, it works out almost perfectly. I say almost perfectly. Boop. Okay. So let's go ahead. Drop. You. We're going to carry you around as well. So right there. All right. Let's go find some ammonium because ammonium is one of those things that is just, you know, so wonderful if you can find enough of it. Um, and then just just suck as much as you can out of the ground and with this thing you'll get a lot more so I have to watch for ammonium let's wander over to some of these hills because it usually seems to appear near or on these little hills I can see extenders becoming very popular now because you may want to, instead of having to build a whole bunch of RTGs, it's just extend power out to these mining stations. Okay, I'm hoping I didn't go pop buy some ammonium and not see it. Uh, what are you? Your compound. Right? That's compound back there? Uh, yeah, that's a compound. Okay. I want ammonium because I want it to be useful. And I'm always looking for ammonium or graphite. If I find a graphite deposit, I could do that too. And you know what? I'm in these crags. Hey, look, there's graphite. Okay, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to set it up on graphite instead. Oh, nope, that's more graphite. Okay. Almost thought that was ammonium. And I do not have my paver, and uh, I don't have the paver on here, so. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I just want a flat surface that we can drive across. Okay. And then really quick, I want to grab one, because... I want to show how it works really quick. Oh, I already have a graphite, but we're going to have a second one anyhow. Crunch, 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 come on. You know, I already have a graphite, so it'll work. All right. So let's come over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we got this nice big deposit here of graphite. So here's how this, this will work. First... I just want to get a nice flat area for the platform to set up. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat. I just want it to be somewhat flat. Again, this is my OCD. It's not the game. So I just want a somewhat flat area. This will work right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is this is where our, our RTGs and auto arm and everything are going to set up. And that's not even flat whatsoever, is it? Oh, well. Okay, let's get that platform set up. So we're going to set that up right here. Actually, we're going to turn it. We're going to have it go over here. I'm going to go in just a little bit this way. There we go. Okay. 
next, let's grab our extractor. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. And then we're just going to drop it right on top. And then you can see the little tripod legs that it sits on, so you can that way. Okay, but that I might have to get... This is where I think the auto arm needs a little bit of improvement. Its range is very limited. Okay, next we're going to drop down our canister right there. We're going to drop down our auto arm right here. And then you want the green... This is what I've discovered. You want the green to be where it picks up and the blue to be where it drops off. So the canister, it'll be perfectly fine. And then we're going to grab two RTGs just to give it enough oomph to operate at a good rate. So, um, just grab any old RTG. I don't care. All right. Boom. Okay. And then the last thing I just want to do is, you'll notice there's, oh, we should probably do this. Turn it on. Boom. And you'll see it's ready. And then I didn't know this because there's no indicator. But this slot right here, if you put a resource on there, you don't lose the resource. But it tells the auto arm, use, now you'll see it says filter graphite. So that means it'll only pick up graphite and deal with it. Here, these work just like your soil canisters. You have an input and an output. So you want any, uh, basically, it's set to suck in and it'll hold 32. Let's go ahead, we're gonna turn this thing on. Ready? Boom! Crunch! Oh yeah, boom! And look at that, it's pulling up graphite. Oh yeah, and then boom! Oh, and look at that! You even get the little the little shock wave coming out from it. Oh yeah, this thing is awesome! Arrgh. Boom! And then I'm wondering if you can put the storage on top and have the auto arm. I mean, I could. I don't need the auto arm for this because, believe it or not, I could just put the storage on top. It will work, but I want to show the auto arm in action. The auto arm would be really useful if I had a large resource over here, but I don't want to try and unlock that and build that. I wanted to get this going as soon as possible. So look at this. We're almost done. It's almost got a full one. Boom. Boom. It grabbed it and puts it in. Drop in there. And now we have one of 32 in there. And what's really great, I thought those are good. If you look, there's like little tiny graphite in there. Just a tiny amount, and it just fills up over time. So yeah, it, that, and then it'll just do its thing. Now, for this, I could have just left, as I said, the uh, the large, or the medium storage on top. But I wanted to, as I said, uh, I wanted to show it off. So uh, the next thing that I don't have here because I forgot to do it I was so excited is the uh, button or I'm sorry the uh, this zinc and quartz so guess what remember when I said guess what I need that quartz that I turned into a, a glass oh well so let's head back to our base now uh, I had to remember where this is at but it shouldn't be too difficult because earth up and over earth, burn. okay uh, let's get a bearing on this. So, it is almost due west. So, let's just see what happens if I head east. Can I make it? Or, I'm really hoping, I think I left my paver and uh, drill over on Kalidor because, like I said, I was so excited. Automation! Who cares? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, and I bet you that was where I had some uh, ammonium in there. Okay. Up and over. And the other thing I found when I was in the uh, creative mode, um, and I'm curious when I come back here, although I have my volume turned way down, is that when you have those auto extractors going, <laughs> You hear them. You just hear this thump in the bait distance. Thump. Um, I don't know if that one's too far or not, but I just found that kind of like 
oh my gosh, it's like an immersion because, you know, this thing is just pounding away at the earth. And, you know, you're so far away and yet you still feel this thump, you know, as it takes care of, or as it's uh, doing its thing. So I want to go grab some soil because I need to get more quartz. So let's just go ahead, grab some more quartz, uh, soil, fill up on quartz. Uh, yeah, fill up on soil so I can print some quartz so I can get the switch. And actually, I'm going to try a couple things. I need to get a lot of quartz now that I think about it. So, Because I want to try a couple things. I'm very curious if I can do something with it. Uh, somebody may have already tried. I'll be honest. I have not done any... Uh, I haven't followed any content about automation. I saw a couple little videos showcasing like a 15-second uh, video of the extractors working. Um, so I haven't really tried a lot with them. You know, I haven't seen what creative things people have done with them yet. I'm sure you can be extremely creative with this. Uh, but I have another idea that I want to try. So I have an extra tungsten carbide. I must have, uh, oh, it was two steel and one tungsten. Where did that go? Oh, it landed over here. So uh, I've just printed an extra one. Well, we got it if needed. And then here's another place where that auto arm would be cool. Um, you could have it drop it off on something else. Okay, so we want uh, a couple buttons. Or, I'm sorry, we want a couple storage sensors. So let's see, where were those at? Were they in the pri uh, personal beacon? Yeah, they must, they've got to be in the small printer. There it is. Nope, winch. Drill, hydrazine, medium oxygenator, auto arm, medium resource, medium soil. There it is, storage, sensor. Oh, and then zinc. Okay, I want two of these. And I'm pretty certain I had zinc over here. Yep, there we go. One, two. Automation! Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, that's titanium. Oop, sorry, I thought that was zinc. Uh oh Do I not have zinc over here? Uh oh. Do I have to go running around looking for zinc? Titanium, titanium, titanium. Oh no, I have to run around looking for zinc. I have no zinc. Well, I hope there's some salarite underground. I could trade for it. I'll just do that. So where'd my trade platform? There it is. Alright, so I want... Salarite. One z Oh, gosh. Okay, one scrap. I can do that. Okay. So while you're doing that, the other thing I want is I want two beacons. Or just one beacon, I'm sorry. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, come on, hurry back, hurry back, hurry back, hurry back, hurry back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Come on. Whoop. I want it to land right on my little guy. Ah! Okay. Automation! Let's go ahead and smelt that. Get ourselves some zinc. Oh. Hold on to these questions. I'll just drop these off over here. We'll put it up here. Uh, some very loud birds outside right now. So 
So if you hear them, I apologize. Because they can't. Whoops. Alright. Now, let's go ahead. We want these buttons. I hope that that thing hasn't filled up by the time I get back there. Uh. Oh. Pfft. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I was... I'm so excited that I'm making big mistakes. I want to get back there before the thing fills up, too. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was quick. Wow, that's quick. Okay, whoop. Oh, 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 oh. You weren't supposed to see that. Okay. All right, let's head back. Um, I'm going to take the rover because I don't need the big thing yet. So it was due west. So let's just go ahead and follow. Hopefully uh, I can... Whoa. Maybe I should have taken the... Uh... Oof. Oh, okay. Go around this. Right over the Astroneer's grave. There it is. I'll see it in the distance there. Vroom. Duke's a hazard. My guy ain't. Thump. Okay. There we go. Alright, so here's what I want to do. Erf. I have no idea if this is going to work. First of all, um, so we're going to take this. So you attach, it's a storage thing, so you attach it to the item, the storage thing. And then this gets a little bit weird, but you can then have it pad. You can use F to make these little nodes, just to make it a little, oops, I didn't hit F though. Just so that you don't have these weird uh, things going all over the place. There we go. So now I have attached that to there, and you can see it's full or empty. And it says waiting for storage to fill or empty. And what it will do is when this fills up, it'll tell this to shut off. Isn't that awesome? And then, how full are we? Oh, that isn't what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, so it's at only 11 of 32. The next thing I want to see if this works. I'm really curious. So I want this beacon. We're going to just drop you. We can set you down right there. Actually, you're probably attached to the ground. So let's attach you to the ground. And then there's all these colors we can go through. But the one that I would really like... Or did they get rid of it? Oh, they got rid of the one that... Yeah, they got rid of it. Darn it. Um, there used to be a flashing one. So, okay. So, red was right after, I think, the orange. Right? No, nope, purple. Okay, it's right after the purple. So, there we go. I want to do that. And then I'm going to put down another storage in a sensor. And we're going to, just to make things look nice. Oh, I can do this. So now, what I'm hoping is that I don't have to come back and check all the time. I can just go nearby, and if that beacon is red, I know it's full. Crunch. But yeah, uh, so yeah, it's doing its thing here. Kaboom. And then as far as the amount of power watch, if I take... Uh, you can see here on the power indicator... It looks like it's okay. If I take one RTG off, you can see it doesn't like that. So it needs at least, you know, two RTGs is, makes it run at 100%. Um, I don't know if I had just like a medium generator there, if that would also assist. Um, but I think it's easier to just set up two RTGs. And since these are late game things... Um, 
I think, uh, you know, two RTGs shouldn't be too difficult. You just have to go around, grab a lot of hyd ammonium, a lot of titanium, a lot of iron, a lot of argon, and a lot of helium, um, a lot of hydrogen, that's easy to get. And then you can just go ahead and pump out RTGs left and right. Yeah, did you hear that? This is how far away we are. And then listen. Boom. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. Okay, automation! So, uh, if I got another two steel going, I could probably set up another one of these. Oof. Um, but what I should probably really do is, how about I identify a location with ammonium first? So, what I'm going to do is we're going to go back over here. We're going to grab... This is going to be a longer episode, so... Uh, I'm going to grab this last bit of quartz. Uh, because I'm going to create a... Yeah, see, I can even see that beacon from here. So hopefully when it changes red, I'll know... Okay, storage full. Um, so I wanna, I'm want i going to make a beacon out of this. I know I'm going to need more quartz and uh, glass and such. But I'm going to create a beacon... And I'm going to go hunting for a good ammonium resource, or a good ammonium deposit. So, let's just wander these foothills and see if I can find some. I doubt I'll find it here, because it's usually in the, f the foothills, not these mountains. Oh, you know what? Actually, do I still have it up here? Now that I think about it, instead of ammonium... Another good one would be copper, because that's the one that seems to be really also difficult. Um, so if I were to find a copper deposit up here, dump. Okay, the buggy does not do well on difficult terrain. Okay, if I see copper or ammonium, whichever one of those I see first, that's what I'm going to set up at. I really would prefer ammonium. Oh, what's over there? Uh, I think I see copper over there. Okay. So I did see copper, so I did say whichever one I see first. But I'm going to look just a little bit more. I'm going to renege on my uh, promise. Because I really do want it. ammonium. Come on, sneak through here. Automation! Okay. Hey, look! Ammonium. I've mined out some of it already. But I found some ammonium. So, whoa. Um, okay. Okay. So I'm going to set up here, because it's not a permanent thing. You can always move these around afterward, too. So, okay. So let's just drop a beacon here, just so I remember where this is at. We're going to set its color to kind of a pink. I'm sorry, no, we're going to set it to... Is there kind of this gold color? Yeah, the yellow. So we'll set it to yellow, so that uh, we know that that's ammonium. I'm going to sniff a couple roses while we're over here. All right, let's head back to the base and uh, build up to get another uh, extractor. That entire setup again. So the only downside is I might not have the um, aluminum, but I have enough scrap that I shouldn't have an issue. I should just be able to trade for whatever I need at this point, including the hematite. Ah, and clay, that's another one. Although clay isn't as useful. I like my large storage, though. The 
the kind of pyramid shaped ones or whatever I like those I'm really not a fan of the silos yes they're efficient but they're just oh ugly anyhow okay so for that extractor we needed two steel a titanium a tungsten carbide and we need uh, rubber so made certain to not put uh, the singular in there in front of that uh, resin um, just tell you what for resin we'll spin that up in the soil spinner Rooney that is a haggard nerd term spinner Rooney I can't claim that one I'm really hoping uh um, we can do this again now that dedicated servers are out and there's some new content that uh, it's been a while I'm hoping we can get those going again because it's a lot of fun when we get uh, Hager nerds crew crew going oh look there's resin right there huh. while I'm looking for the soil to get resin Okay, because I need resin for rubber. I need, and I'd rather just get that from a soil extractor as opposed to trading for it. Here I'm hitting F while clicking on that. Okay, boom, boom. Let's go ahead. We want resin. And this is where the uh, auto arm would also come in handy. All right, do I have empty medium storage that I can drop over there? Yes, this one. Put you down over here. And then you should just spit all that out over to there. Okay, I just want one. Thank you. Okay. So we need that. We needed the tungsten carbide. I have that. We need the steel. So let's run over here. I think I have two iron left. There's the tungsten carbide I will need. There's the two steel iron. So let's go ahead and get some steel. Oh, I'm also going to need carbon. Lots of carbon. For one, something that... Uh, what you might call um, organic, you know, a lot of carbon. With all this tungsten carbide now. Okay, we got that. Let's go ahead. One, two, three. I just have that memorized. It's pretty sad, but oh well. So, okay, drop that off. Drop off the tungsten carbide. Come on, where is that? There. There's one steel. Oh, look! Oh! That... It just automatically started the next one. That's also nice. Although you have to be careful because you, you just now have to be aware of that, that's all. Boom! Auto extractor printing. All right. Next, we want the, uh, uh, da, 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 here, uh, media resource cancer, glass and plastic. So this is where I need quartz again. Plastic, uh, believe it or not, I need compound. Man. Okay, compound, compound, compound. Uh, what's backpack look like? Okay. It looks like this. Uh, okay. Let's go find some compound. Sneak through here. I know I've extracted so much of the nearby stuff. I should look for ammonium through here. I might find some a little bit closer. Okay, there's compound. Just really quick. Gonna look over here. I think I've already scanned all of this for ammonium, though. Because I would like to find just an a uh, virgin deposit of ammonium.
Okay. One. Two. Let's just grab a couple extra. Since we're here, three. Just fill up on compound. Automation! printing. Oop. Just drive right through that. Okay. So, plastic. Okay, so I need more carbon. Let's go ahead and drop off some of this compound. I'm not going to need all of it right now. I only need two of them. Carbon? Wow, I never thought I'd go through this much carbon. And then, let's see, if I drop this off and this off, does it just go ahead and do it then, like it did last time? Because if it does, that is pretty damn darn cool. Ding! Yes! Oh, that's really cool. Although I didn't need two plastic. Um, oh well, I'll have two plastic now. Hey, look, there it is! Okay. So, uh, we need glass as well. So, that's where I'm going to need more quartz. Okay. Uh, I could do one of two things. I could go and grab more soil, or I can go underground and see if I can find some. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some carb uh, quartz underground. I really don't want to trade for it. It should be common enough that I should just find some floating around here. Although, have I done this before where I spent... Whoa! I spent a long time looking for quartz. Hey, look! Sphalerite! Which I was... I just traded for, but oh well. Okay, quartz, quartz, quartz. More sphalerite! Oh, look! More lambus bread! Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Hello. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna find more quartz. This I probably would be faster to just soil spin a rooney it. Um, that looks like resin, that looks like more sphalerite way off in the distance. I mean, quartz has a very distinct appearance. And I don't want to get lost down here. It is so easy to get lost underground. Oh, look, quartz! Okay, so, I just need to remember where I was. I'm probably lost already. I did not pay attention to where I was going. So this could be really bad. Okay. Um, let's just try and retrace the steps that I took to get here. I believe I came... Nope, it was not this way. Definitely not that way. Yep, I'm lost. Um, I was stupid. I was not paying attention to where... I, oh, there we go. Tether lines. Yay! And I saw more quartz that I passed, must have walked right by, but oh well. Okay. We didn't suffocate. What was the phrase from Game of Thrones that uh, Silva, uh, Silvio, or whatever his name was, Silly, whatever his name was, told Arya, um, what do we say to death? Not today. He 
Hey, you know what? Let's check our beacon in the distance. Is it still purple? It's still purple. Okay. All right. So uh, I needed quartz. What did I need for uh, glass and plastic? Okay. So just one quartz. I don't want to over... Oh, there's... You know what? I'm just excited. Why? Automation! Okay. If I had just looked, I would have... In, um, how many of you saw that sitting there? And didn't say anything! Okay. Put that there. All right, and then the auto arm. What did the auto arm require? Graphite and aluminum. Graphite and aluminum. That's going to take a little longer. Because I don't think I have either of those. Now, I can spin up graphite and I can trade for aluminum. So I'm going to trade for aluminum. There we go. And how many was that? One gets me one. So I'm just going to trade one for the time being. Oh. Sorry about the noise. Somebody going by in a um, golf cart. Very noisy golf cart. Uh, I'm going to drop off this quartz for the time being. So let's go ahead. We're going to drop it off here. I don't remember what more I'm going to need. So it was aluminum and... something else that I didn't have for the auto arm. Aluminum and graphite. I have graphene. Okay. Let's go ahead. Grab you. Trade. We're going to put you here. And we're going to grab you because you're empty. Drop you there. Okay, bring you back, and we're going to do... What do we get? It's a very small amount. Two. And yeah, I probably should have traded for it. Oh, well. Okay, put those back on the tool. We've got our laterite. Let's go smelt that. How's our... Oh, is that red? And look at that. I think that's a red... I think that's red. So, uh, I mean, I could just go over and, oh, I just realized the irony, get it, irony, that I needed graphite, and I'm going to go over and grab the giant thing of graphite. Okay, aluminum, graphite. Well, you know what, the sp soil sp uh, spinner only needs to have something to do. Okay, auto arm. And then finally, let's go ahead, but well, before I head out, I should have kept three of these. Um, one, two, three. We're going to print up the uh, media, uh, large platform B. There we go. Okay. Grab you. Grab you. Automation! So. Oh, and I had a whole bunch of soil right there, too. I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited. All right, I want this to finish, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Um, actually, since I've got the resources now, let me print another canister. Storage canister. <laughs> so, the storage canister was glass. And plastic, which I have a plastic right there. So as soon as this gets done, right? Yeah, medium resource canister. So plastic, glass. Let's go print one more. And we're just going to swap out the one that's sitting over there right now. 
so uh there we go all right take you put you down here okay so that'll be i'm set for the next one for ammonium one of these two canisters what does the large storage resource canister take glass titanium oh gosh nano convert no i'm not gonna go for that it holds a lot of resources though all right let's go off and collect our graphite that's been mined I'm kind of annoy uh, disappointed, not annoyed, disappointed they removed the flashing beacon. get over this because I don't want to hop out and then end up in that crater there we go okay so yep it did exactly what it was supposed to it turned this off and it set my beacon so let's do this um, what happens if I pick you up oh okay so we're gonna have to up oh. let's pick you up let's set you back I think it was orange right that before it no, it was purple and then red. Yep. So purple. Okay, we're going to leave that. So look at that. 32 of 32 graphite. It is full up. We'll just drop that on top. And then... What are these doing? Interesting. And it said backpack. That was weird. Okay. Anyhow, where is... Okay, canister. So we're just going to drop off another canister. Boom, 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 boom. And then let's go ahead, put these... Well, we can turn this back on. Because it won't fill before I get done with this. So go ahead here. Put it down, put it down, just so it looks nice. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean it's connected now? Yep, okay. So it is connected. And then the same thing... Oh. Over here, we're gonna F, boom, connect to you. So that when it turns red, we know you are full. All right, let's go set up our ammonium extractor. So that is at our yellow beacon, which is pretty much the opposite direction. Can I sneak this way instead of having to use my bridge? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Huh. Okay. Dump. <laughs> I like, I just, that is a really great decision on the sound. Because, I mean, these things, think of them, they're, they're pounding the earth. And that would just travel. So, yes, you should be hearing it from far away. All right, there's our yellow beacon. Finally onto a flat road. So we should be able to make a little bit better time here. Yeah, I am a little bit... I, I really... I probably left my paver and uh, drill at the last gateway chamber that I visited I'll bet you anything that's where I left it because I probably disconnected them from the rover to uh, set up or to power the chamber okay so we're just gonna set you down 
right here. It doesn't have to be perfectly level or anything. Let's, uh, we're going to leave the beacon. We're going to pick it up, but we're going to... Oh, I didn't create uh, storage sensors, did I? Okay, I'll have to do that, but it won't fill up before I get back. Okay, platform. So let's go ahead, we'll just set the plat. Oh, we have to unpack it first, let's do that. Okay, let's just set it right, I don't know, here. Connect. Auto arm. Unpack. Let's turn it around. There we go. Uh, storage canister. Boom. Uh, and it is set to suck stuff in. Um, let's go top off on oxygen. So don't suffocate. RTG, number one. Oh. RTG, number two. I can see RTGs becoming very useful for this type of stuff. RTG two, excellent. I'm going to grab just one ammonium so I can program the auto arm. Oh, I should turn it on first. There we go. Turn that on, and there we go. Now, I'm, I don't know how much it'll get, but it will get a lot more than if I had just mined it using the terrain tool. Crunch. Okay, so let's go back and get our storage... Um, sensors built. And between episodes, I think I'm going to go back to Kalidor and retrieve my paver and, uh, paver and drill so that I can maneuver a little bit better. So let's go, I want to get the uh, storage sensors so I can set up the beacon so it changes just like the other one. It will change color. So the storage sensors, what did they require again? They required uh, zinc and quartz. So more sphalerite. So I need two sphalerite. Um, let's just go to underground and grab that. It was right there. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit longer, but I don't want to use up all my scrap. Because there's plenty over here. Okay, this is just weird. Let's just uh, do this again. Build a better bridge here. There we go, okay. All this fell right, right here. Let's just fill up on Sphalerite. One. Two, I should have left the uh, beacon back there, but oh well. Four, one more. Five, okay. Hup. Glow. And I was also playing with, uh, while I was in creative mode, you know, with creative mode you can just, like, drop whatever you want. Uh, build whatever you want without any resources, and... Uh, the other setup I had going was a extra large platform. The one that has the like four tier two slots. 
and it's bait this platform right here and then what you do is you set up your auto arm rtg next to it you put the large resource canister here and then you can put down another rtg or two over here um and with that large you, you uh platform and large canister you can get a lot going on there okay so let's go ahead and smelt this put you back up there uh, let's set you to there we go okay so I need zinc and glass right with zinc and glass quartz So we need two of those. One zinc. Two zinc. Ah, ah, ah. Two zinc. Gosh, that's just really fast. Okay. Alright, let's head back over. We're going to take this vehicle instead, because it's a little bit easier to deal with. And, you know, it's not just these extractors that our uh, automation can be used on. I wanted to show off the extractors with automation. So... Oh, did you hear that? Boom! Boom. Okay. So let's go ahead. Oh, okay. So we want to put down a beacon. There we go. We can put it right there. We want one star. We want both storage sensors to be on this. Okay. We'll hook up one to the beacon, and then we'll do another one. We'll be there. We go. All right. So now we can watch and see when that fills up as well. So how much do we have already? Five. I mean, it takes a while, but I'm gonna get probably twenty ammonium out of that. And I don't have to sit there and mine at all. It'll just happen on its own. And then with automation, I can then like turn it into where it'll just automate a hydrazine production. Where, you know, if I have enough hydrogen and ammonium on the chemistry lab, it'll just sit there and continue to spit it out. So, the only... Gosh, that far away. Can I hear it? Nope. Just as I spoke, I think I heard it. Let's try to listen a little longer. Yeah, boom. Okay. Anyhow. Uh, but yeah, you can uh, just get a, a production lines going. And it, that's just going to be so much more enter... Uh, much, uh, a quality of life, I should say, really. Um... You know, it'd be. I'm hoping it can even do things like the shredder, where you can just leave debris, and the auto arm will just kind of pick it up and put it over there. I don't know if it will or not. I haven't tried that one yet, but uh, that would be really cool. Oh, my little thing's gone. My uh, gearhead metal. Oh, there's a new one. VR vision gearhead and metalhead. All right, what's this one? So I think well. Oh, Am I actually hearing them from here? I don't know. All right, so what is what do you want? You want I have no idea. Compound. You just want compound. And a medium can okay. Well, I'll play with that later. But it looks like there's a new uh, a new thing you can get, which is not, you know, it's kind of fun, I guess. I mean, 
Really? All right, I'm going to shred this then because uh, I could use the scrap. So, all right. So, everybody, it's been a long episode, but guess what? Automation! So, everybody, I hope you had a great time watching this, and I hope that you give it a try. Um, it took a little while to figure out. I would suggest, you know, start a creative mode, build them so that you know what, you know, and then play with them. And then that's what I use creative mode for at this point. It's just to learn how things work. And uh, I'm probably going to go back to that one to figure out how the power one works. And there was the, uh, what was the other one? There's a power sensor and there is a battery. Is that it? Yeah, battery sensor to figure out how those work. And then I don't know what the button repeater does. I'll have to figure that one out as well. But everybody, I hope you've had a great time watching this episode. I had a lot of fun. This is so awesome. Automation! So, everybody, I will see all of you in the next episode of Astroneer. Trying to get a good angle on them here. There we go. Okay. So, take care, and I just... Bye!